Did you know something shocking that you breathe in every day? If you get polluted air, you're right. We need to stop wasting the natural resources and stop polluting the air. Did you know the most common fossil fuel is greenhouse gases? So if those gases are carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, and propane. Also, many bad gases come from burning garbage. One of those gases is called dioxins. Did you know that 70% of those bad gases come from cars and trucks? And we would cars and trucks every day. Acid rain has a huge impact on the environment. The rain does not affect humans, but it can destroy the environment. Also, rush hour traffic is bad for the environment because all the pollution is bad for us. And there's a lot more pollution when all the cars are on the road. Carbon dioxide is one of the main gases emitted from cars. Polluting the air is bad for the environment because it causes health risks. All of our garbage gets dumped into a giant hole in the ground. Or burning incinerators, burning dioxins, and polluting the air. Either way, it's still very bad for the air and we can stop it. We can stop it today. Cancers caused by... Dioxins, ferns, arsenic, mercury, PCBS, lead, carbon monoxide, hydrolyzed acid, sulfur oxide, and nitrogen oxide. Wow, that's a lot of pollution. We need to stop wasting natural resources and stop polluting there. To do this, we need to be aware of the natural resources we are wasting, the damage we are causing to our health, and the air pollution that is the result released from cars, factories, and burning garbage. One of the ways to reduce air pollution can be the use of renewable energy. The reason renewable energy is so great is because it will never run out and it doesn't pollute the environment either. Also, wind power can be turned into kinetic energy, which can be turned into electric energy using wind turbines. Water power is another way to reduce air pollution, which is also a renewable source of energy. Moving water has kinetic energy, which can be turned into useful energy in many ways. Finally, air pollution can be reduced by the use of solar power, which is energy from the sun. Use buses and trains more often instead of driving. This way, we are cutting down the amount of pollution produced because they carry a lot more people in one journey. Walking or cycling would also help reduce the pollution in the air. It is also good for your body because regular exercise will keep you fit and healthy and does not create any air pollution.